let's talk about another very common thing that's very easily fixable in the primary care office, which is that of the nursemaid's elbow. So what's the usual way, what happens here? How does it usually happen and how do we fix it? Yeah, so nursemaid's elbow, I mean, the classic is that the, a parent or um, adult is holding the arm or hand of the child. The child jerks in an, um, another direction. So Into traffic usually. Yes, exactly. I feel like it's, it's every parent is like, I'm grabbing my child's hand so they don't you know, go into traffic. You yank real hard and then um, the radial head just pops out. It's an annular ligament. It's a round ligament. And, and that um, slips off the edge of the radial. It, Exactly. They, radius. In the young kids under five years of age, they don't have the development of the radius that has a little lip over so that it can't pull out. Um, and so um, at that age, the it, you pull on it and it just slides right out. Right. And so we got to get it back in. Well, what do those kids look like when they present? Yeah, they're usually just holding their arm. They're just not, they're not using. Sometimes they'll still use their fingers and hand, but they're just kind of holding their arm close to their body. So they're sort of adducted, ad adducted to their body? Exactly, exactly. And, and they don't want to move it because it hurts. How do you differentiate it from, say, a fracture? Like, because I feel like everyone thinks, oh my, their wrist is hurting or their elbow's broken maybe. Like, yeah, so number one is to obviously do the, your exam. So if there's swelling, um, or actually maybe I might rewind to say number one is the history. If you hear a right. yank versus a fall from the monkey bars, you're going to have two different images that you're, you're two different paths you're going to go down. But um, if it was the yank, or maybe you don't know. Or they pick um, them up by the arms, or dads, yes. some some moms, but mostly dads, swinging kids yeah. by their arms. Ooh, that one gets me every time. Yeah, you have to swing by the chest. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so number one is going to be just looking at them and seeing is there swelling if they're swelling obviously elbow or wrist then it's not nursemaid's elbow there should not be swelling there um, and then doing the exam a lot of times it, for kids that are cooperative in addition to just seeing their position you can push and that radial head which is kind of if you just palpate up from the radius that radial head right there will be their sore spot you won't necessarily be able to feel that it's subluxed right um, but, you, but they don't like, they don't like yeah they don't like to touch and they also don't like it if you try to supinate them so supination gets that radius in an uncomfortable position and so okay. They don't love that feeling. How do you fix this? Um, so this is the you, reduction. You could de demo, demo on yes. me. So my favorite is supination um, flexion. I know there's lots of debate about it. So right. supination flexion is where you put your thumb over the radial head with one hand, and then you turn the other hand into supination. I always tell the parents I'm going to hurt the kid right before they do it. So I'm like, just give them a really big hug. And then <laughs> um, so we get them as supinated as you can and then flex all the way in. And you'll usually feel the pop right under your thumb. Right. Um, and they'll cry, give them a few minutes, a toy, walk out of the room, come back in 10 minutes and they're usually moving it and, and right. doing well. Now you and I see a lot of this, right? I'm in the ED, you're in sports medicine, so we probably yeah. see these. You probably see the ones that no one can get in. Um, my favorite way when it's first out yeah. is I actually like the hyperpronation, which yeah, I, I'm gonna do right. this on you. So yeah. same thing, the thumb over the radial head. And I, I, I'm kind of like, hey, how you doing kiddo? And then it just kind of a, a, t a hard twist like this direction, hyperpronation, and you can feel that pop immediately. And the kids are like stunned a little bit, but they don't see, I think that, I feel like they see it coming more when you're hyper, it's probably when, true. when you're supinating and flexing, but either way you fix it. Yes, yeah, you, is, the big thing is, is get that in. And, and most kids do great and you're kind of done at that point. And like how uh, long do you wait before you give them a sticker or a, or a lollipop or something to prove they can use it. Yeah, I mean, usually just a few minutes. Like, I usually I walk out of the room to because they don't they're not happy with me. Right. Um, I come back in with a toy or a sticker or a lollipop and peace um, offering. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and then um, and then see how they're doing. And usually they'll be moving that if it's been out for a few days rather than like a few hours. Um, then sometimes they're still not a hundred percent. But it, as long as they're showing some significant improvement, then we monitor. Mm -hmm. If they're really not improved or it couldn't get a good pop. And sometimes we start going down the pathway of working it up further, like looking at you know, is it looking at the X-ray and making sure we're not missing so you will something get an else. Yes, if if they're not improving, okay. um, but we usually you know usually that improvement happens pretty quick. So it's another one of those really satisfying procedures. Oh, yeah. It's like my favorite from even when I was back in the ED. So right, do you? So initially, you don't need X-rays on these. No. So as long as there's no swelling over that area, so swelling is really your big marker. If you see swelling, and if you're not sure, because a lot of these kids have pudgy little arms, just compare to the other side. Um, that's the easy part of ortho, always just compare to the other side. Um, but uh, if they're swelling, you don't even try that nursemaid's um, yeah, reduction. That's a good tip. Yep. <laughs> you don't want to mess with a supercondylar fracture no. and start twisting on it. You're going to have unhappy parents and unhappy patients. Yes. <laughs>